Okay, how to overcome social anxiety. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through how I've helped many clients to overcome social anxiety, how I overcame my own social anxiety. So I'm gonna get straight to it. You, obviously you have to socialize, you know, you've gotta face your fear of people. If you don't do that, then nothing's gonna change. The anxiety will get worse. But there are a couple of extra tips that are important, the extra things that you've gotta do. And I think I've said before, it's not enough just to go out and socialize with people, you know, be more social with your friends, your family, uh, your community. Because people with social anxiety have already tried that, done that, and they failed. You've got to learn to be yourself. You know, you have to learn to be more vulnerable. You have to stop protecting yourself. And you've got to learn to trust people more. I know that's challenging, but that's something that you've got to and learn to trust yourself more. And it's, it's learning also to love yourself. You've got to build your confidence up and you don't just build your confidence up in my opinion just from relationship building although that does a lot of it you've also got to do you know personal discipline exercising dieting having a purpose in life so it's the simple things that i've said in the videos it's kind of the same answer to every question for anxiety disorders you need a daily routine you know you need to get up earlier you need to go to the gym you need to eat healthier you need to have a purpose in life. You need to face your fears. So overcoming social anxiety for me is a whole organic development around living a better life and also living from good values, you know, being a good person, which obviously you already are. And, you know, having more confidence, cutting down the people pleasing, but not being so defensive of people. So it's that balance. And of course, you've got to work through anger, resentment, uh, paranoia. Distra These are all things that are hidden and buried in people that have got social anxiety because of bullying, because of trauma, um, because of overthinking. So you've got to stop overthinking in social situations, in life in general. And these things are developed over time through discipline. But of course, leaving the house is a great start. So these are all the things that you need. And the great thing about it is there's no end, you know, and it doesn't, this can be fun. You know, you can design your life in a way where it's fun, you're challenging yourself. So just to give you some tips on my journey, that's why I took up boxing as well, because I wanted to get more confident with people. I didn't want to have social anxiety. That's why I started doing public speaking, and that's why I also started a business. I've always wanted to help other people, that's my passion. So you've got to figure out who you are, what your passion is. They're quite simple things, and it's not going too deep, it's keeping it simple. So exercise regularly, uh, eat healthier, figure out what your passion, your goal is in life, in terms of your career, and you know, build relationships, build connections. You can't just do small talk and expect to overcome social anxiety because overcoming social anxiety goes a, little, a lot further than just talking to people. It's also healing all the pain that you've got, all the anger, all, and also all the, all, you know, all the sort of buried up kindness and the love that you got, all the guilt and the shame. These things need to be processed. And that's why I honestly believe that you can't do it without a mentor or a therapist at some point. I couldn't have done it. I don't know anyone who can. So you want to think about investing uh, in a mentor, in a therapist to give you the help and support you need because it's a, it's a big ask to do it all on your own. Like any sort of anxiety disorder or anything where you're facing fear. But once you get used to this and once you get to a certain um, point, mentally and emotionally and, and practically with taking action, you can really enjoy it. So, you know, things like being honest with people as well, you've got to cut out. I'm not saying everyone does this, but a lot of people do. You've got to, you've got to stop the manipulation as a defense mechanism because you don't want people to hurt you and you're ashamed to show yourself. So it's gradually building up. You're not going to do this all in one day. It's opening up again. It's basically being the way that you were probably when you were younger before the trauma took place. And I know that from my own journey. So, you know, less overthinking, you know, and also, you, you know, there's a little bit of contradiction that you've got to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable in all situations in life around people. And that's going to be for certain periods. That's a skill that you have to learn. And deep down, everyone knows that. You know that we've all got a bit of nerves. So it's normal to have some nerves when you meet new people. It's normal to feel some anxiety and nerves around friends and family from time to time. That's normal. But it's not normal when you're debilitated with anxiety to the point where you can't build relationships, you can't be around people. That's when you've got to get help. You've got to love yourself. You've got to look after yourself. So, you know, there's a lot of help out there. 
And for people that can't afford help, there's free help. You've got these videos, there's charities, there's courses. You can go on the NHS, they do free therapy. Those of you that have got a lot of money, then you can invest. It's a good decision. So, th so there's no excuses really. It's down to you to, to get the help that you need and to put the effort in that you need to put in. So my daily routine can really help you to achieve this, as I've said, and not just with overcoming social anxiety, but in any area of life, improving. So, you know, set goals, take action, you know, be compassionate to yourself, but obviously, you know, encourage yourself and then you'll get more confident. And I think the best things are public speaking. That's a great way of overcoming social anxiety. Running is a great way, great exercise. Boxing is a great exercise swimming, any of those exercises, or you can do all of them if that works for you. I also think it's really important the way that you treat others. Really, really important. That's, that's just my values anyway that I teach people. It's important to treat people how you want to be treated and to be kind to people and be respectful and to be patient. But of course, you've also got to stand up for yourself. You've got to say no to um, when you want to say no. You can't be in abusive toxic relationships you have to build more confidence and say no to those sorts of relationships otherwise you're going to get stuck in them so it's that balance of being confident being humble treating people how you want to be treated but not being a doormat you know you can't just let people walk all over you because some people will not everybody will so it's getting rid of those resentments and that all this is done through confidence the more confidence you have the less anger and resentment towards people in yourself, the more love, the more kindness, the more you're not as reactive, you're more easygoing. But all these things come through training, through discipline. And training is not just with boxing and weight training and running. That is, that is fitness training. Yes, that's so important. But it's also you training your mind and your body by getting out of bed, practicing the daily routine, having a routine that, which consists of exercising, socializing, eating healthy, going to work or working on your purpose, giving back to others, you know, clean your apartment. It's the simple practical things and getting help and support. See, the reason why help and support is great because it allows you to not have to do everything on your own, to take some of that burden off and you can process, you can get your ideas out, you can talk to someone. Talking does help. Um, now, with social anxiety, talking helps but you're gonna also need some other things too, but it is important to speak to people, friends, family, about your feelings, about your anxieties. But you don't wanna get stuck there forever though, that can be a trap. So that is very helpful too, really helpful. I do it with my clients, but you must also take action. Because if you're just speaking to a therapist every week about your anxiety, but you're not practicing good values, discipline, it's not gonna change. You're just gonna feed the anxiety. So you gotta, if you really wanna have a therapist that is aware, of your um, positive behaviors, positive patterns, and they're aware of your negative patterns, which are avoidance. As you know, with social anxiety, the negative pattern is to push people away, to avoid social situations, to avoid your own emotions, feeling them. So again, talking to people is a great start, but it's not enough if you wanna get over traumas and anxiety. You've gotta speak from also, you've gotta have your emotions in there. You know, you've gotta be connected. You've gotta be vulnerable. Otherwise you can't build intimacy with people. And obviously it's learning the skills to do that again because you, we've all done it before. So you need to have a skilled therapist or a skilled mentor like myself who understands. I, I personally think, I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. I think. It's better to work with someone who's had social anxiety and who's overcome it or made big progress because then they know how it feels. And that's why I've been able to help a lot of people because I've had social anxiety. I know how it feels to struggle with it, but I know how it feels to overcome it and have that confidence you deserve. But that, but that might not be true for everybody. You might get a good therapist who hasn't had social anxiety, but they're very empathetic. They're able to give you the help and support you need and you overcome it. And that's, that's, really also, that's all that's important at the end of the day. So find a teacher and a mentor that works for your therapist. Find a routine that works for you. That, encourage, that, that, yes, that includes exercising, training, and some time with your hobby. So it's basically working on your life. And I think a lot of people make the mistake of got social anxiety. I made it too, and that's how, I, that's how I learned from it. And I've helped clients to adjust this mistake. They make the mistake of just thinking that they're just gonna talk their way through their pain and their anxiety, and that's gonna fix it. And although that's gonna, that's gonna give you some confidence, it's not gonna fix everything in the way that um, 
having a daily routine will that I'm encouraging you to have. And if you go below these notes, you'll see a routine that I've designed that you can model and make it your own. So you, you know, you need to work on your life. You, you, I, if, I, if I could give the last best advice to anybody out there that's got social anxiety, that wants to gain confidence and get more confident of people and building relationships, I would say, go to the gym regularly, find a routine that you enjoy, join a boxing gym, stick with it, get fit, fit body, fit mind, and the rest will take care of itself and socialize more, meet up with friends more, family more, go to more social conventions, go to meetups, travel, you know, see what, connect with people in person. Do not have all your connections online. It's not gonna be enough. That certainly won't help. You have to be with people in person more often than you are online. And then you can have some time online and time on your own to get that balance. That would be my message. If you got a lot of value from this video, brilliant, you can like, you can share, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna book a mentoring session, I do online mentorship for social anxiety, anxiety in general, and for building confidence and discipline, my email address is below, you can email me there. I've got short-term mentorship programs, really short for one hour. I've got intermediate, long-term, and just to give an example, six weeks. If you wanted to do a six weeks course, really help you to make a lot of progress, you can email me, I'll get back to you. And if you're committed and you've got the right attitude and we can work together, I'll work with you and do the best I can to help you to move forward and overcome your social anxiety. Any other questions any of you got, let me know in the box below. Appreciate you coming on the live streams. I'm doing more lives, more events, more videos. I'll speak to all of you soon, all right? Good luck, I appreciate your support, awesome.